Hello, it's Cynthia Morris with today's video book recommendation. Today it is this book by Michael and Sarah Bennett. Now, as a touchy-feely and kind of feelings-oriented person, somebody who believes that feelings are important and should be expressed and experienced, you would think that when I saw this book, I was like, no, what, no! Instead, I was like, yes, this is great, because I picked it up and I looked at it and I realized that this is a self-help book that is different than pretty much every other self-help book I've ever seen. The basic premise is this. We have this notion, and the self-help industry perpetuates it, that we can somehow be perfect in our lives, that we can do all this stuff and classes and courses and workshops and become this perfect person if we just do these things. This book says, no, you're not gonna become a perfect person no matter how hard you try. Now they say it doesn't mean don't try, but to give up our unrealistic expectations about how good we're going to be or how well we're going to be able to help somebody else or help ourselves is just adding to our frustration and our sense of um, futility that, okay, well, I failed at that. I'm terrible. I failed at that. I'm terrible. So no, this book is great. It's written by a psychologist dad and his comedy writing daughter, and it's hilarious and helpful. The formula is this, they talk about a specific problem that you have and the things that we want to achieve, like I want to be a better daughter, I want to call my mom every week, I wish I were actually calling her every day and being such a good daughter, but the fact is I'm not. So they talk about what you want to achieve, why it's not possible, what you can actually do to make some steps toward that, all knowing that you're not going to be some perfect person. I love this book. It gives concrete scenarios and advice and even scripts for how to deal with some of life's more difficult feelings and experiences. I highly recommend Feelings by Michael and Sarah Bennett. Thanks for watching.